Uh, welcome to Snowball Esports. I'm um, here with Coach Curtis of the Dials, uh, who's just won the OPL Split 2 uh, Grand Final, so congratulations. Thank you so much. So, how does it feel to be going to Worlds again for the second time? Every single time it gets better, honestly. I mean, I, I mean, I, I guess like as the years and the splits go on, it's just more in it. You know, there's more imports, more money, more the, the infrastructure is greater. Um, it just the region's just growing and growing and growing, and the amount of effort that goes into a win is just insane. Compared to, I mean, not to say that we didn't put a lot of effort last year, but this year it's just it's a whole new ball game. The the, the whole league is just one up, like more than that, it's just completely evolved. So, um, being able to go to Worlds again is just, I mean, just leaves me speechless. It's just an absolutely amazing experience. So, on top of that, then, what does it also mean for you to lead at? Uh, into a new dynasty, so essentially equaling the Chiefs now with four OPL titles. Yeah, um, I mean, I think that we really have got this winning culture going on here. I mean, I think there are a lot of things to, to contribute that contributes to that. It's not just myself, I think. Rippy and all the people behind the scenes, um, Dave, and we've got some key players like Shern and King have been with us for the whole time. Obviously, we're doing some things right, and we just got to, I think we're just, I'm really fortunate to be able to be with these group of guys. It is so amazing. We've been really fortunate to um, work with them and I feel like this dynasty that we're, we're creating, is uh, it is history and I feel like um, it's an amazing thing to be a part of and I just want to do my best to continue it moving forward in the next few years. So take me forward, so we'll look at review the series. So what's it like for you as a coach being on the live stage um, and was there any curveballs that were thrown for you? you know, for example, I saw there was the Zach that was picked mm. in the second game. Uh, very different AD bot lane in the fourth mm. game. Um, walk us through that. Um, game two, uh, Daruk adapted well to the to the draft. Um, like I made my move game one, he made his move game two, and uh, he had me beat. Uh, game three, um, we adapted again. And then we switched sides in game four. Game four, we had that we had the vein pick kind of in our back pocket. We've been practicing that in scrims, um, and the the situation that we kind of talked about happened, where um, we have the favorable support, and there's a bit of it like all the main supports are off the table, and we can just drop AD and then counter pick AD at the end of the table, and um, it just turned panned out like we practiced, and we're able to pick up that vein pick that we've been practicing throughout the week. Cool. So. Going forward now, obviously you're going to Worlds. Um, what's the sort of prep look like? Do you know what that looks like yet? Um, and how do you think you'll fare? Um, I would say that we're the most flexible Diwals roster that we've ever had in terms of the way we view the game. We can carry through every position. We can carry through bot, mid, top, junction. Obviously, Shonk can, can carry if, if the resources are um, given to him. Um, and I would say that uh, we... This time around, I think we we've had so many international tournaments now. We've been to this is like what would this be? We're fourth, one, right? fourth. Yeah. yeah, this is our fourth international tournament. Actually, fifth because we went to Rift Rivals last year in of Vietnam course, as well. Course, yeah. um, and I think we've had some key learnings every single time. And I don't want to kind of say that yeah, this is the this is the moment. <laughs> Although I feel like this is the best chance we've ever had. So I think moving forward now, we have a quick break. Um, hopefully, do a boot camp in Korea beforehand and um, get as much practice as we can and continue with this Diwals identity that we have really strongly at the moment. If we can continue this momentum, really solidify our identity, I think we can have a really good crack. So, Shern's touched on it. He finds Korea to be his second home. Have you been there before? How have you experienced it? Yeah, I've been to a few boot camps. I've been there a lot of times. Um, it's very... I mean, I like it. It gets. It does turn into a bit of a drain if you spend it for like over a month there. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing city. I think uh, Seoul's an amazing city. Um, and the practice there, you can't, you can't really scoff at. It's just a, it's, the practice is the best in the world. So um, trying to get over there as soon as possible would be key in order for us to have a great run at Worlds. So obviously most teams in the OPL now would probably be thinking about next year and what they're planning as well. You've unfortunately, got, well, fortunately I'd say, actually got the problem of going to Worlds. When do you start thinking about next year? Is that after Worlds? Do, is it now in the back of your mind? I mean, I, I've already, yeah, we've already, something I've already been thinking about next year. Um, Kind of things like we like there was a lot of key learnings this year, but it's just not the time to, to change anything what we've done now. I think um, we'll go to Worlds and have a quick break after Worlds, and then um, really get to the drawing board and what we liked, what we didn't like from the season and and the split, and um, try and just evolve. Oh. Is there anyone you'd like to thank for supporting you or getting you this far? Um, I'd like to thank 
family, friends are always tuned in and send me really nice messages. And my family just always watch the games and congratulate me of every win week to week. All the behind the scenes stuff. You got Raymond. Um, amazing, making amazing content. You got Henny doing amazing social media. You got Nathan constantly grinding it out. Dave being super supportive and and having that alignment from an organizational standpoint right through the performance is really really fortunate to have that. And just all the players, just really grateful and thank, thankful that I can I have the opportunity to work with such talented players and really amazing people. All right, thank you so much for your time. Uh, best of luck at Worlds, and uh, for more content, uh, please check out snowballesports.com.